Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Tuesday. It's November 7th. This will be our chart lesson for the day. <clears throat> and you can see here, um, we traded higher again today. Notice we got an up bar. We closed. It looked like it was going to be a very, started off very similar, but we broke into the upper half and moved to, we actually moved a little bit more of a, than a measured move and then kind of sold off some off the highs of that. So mostly an upward day. Um, it looks like a range day that expanded basically equal to the original range, maybe a little bit more. Uh, by the time the day finished, it, it closed back in the upper half of the range. But we'll flip over there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But uh, mostly an up day for the day. And you can see our chart here. Uh, we were in this range. We finally broke higher, moved about a measured move, a tad bit more actually than a measured move. If you, if really, if you took this down to the overnight lows, then uh, you can see we moved an exact measured move, and that's probably why we got the little bit of the difference there. I usually try to tighten mine up to where you get the most touches, which is probably right there, and it looks better across the midline here too. But you can see we did move a little bit higher before we came, uh, sold off and closed about the middle of this upper half. So really, basically what you have is this is your range right here. And this turns out to be the true midline right here. And there's just two halves in each one. And you'll see that. I mean, that's why we usually look for a measured move. Uh, you can also look for a measured move based on the first leg. We got a lot more than that. So that one didn't really work out. You can see we did find some resistance there, and that's why people probably took take profits there, not uh, rather than risking if is it going to go higher or turn down. A lot of people just take their profits. I do that a lot myself. Um, this is a good example of why maybe you should hang on to it and, and let it prove out that it's going to sell off first. But uh, anyway, not a lot of volume today, as you can see. The not as many bars. Um, not a, not a lot of crazy volatility. It's just mostly sideways. Uh, we're still getting the choppiness before each move, a little choppiness and then a move. There's just no real direction right now other than we're still going higher. But um, it's getting more difficult to go higher, it looks like. So we're finding a lot of resistance right here around 4,400. Well, just a couple of days ago, we were looking at 42. So this has been a big rally. So, But we're finding resistance at 4,400. Um, Anyway, there it is. Let's zoom in. We'll go through the trades. There's a there's not a lot of trades today, but there's several fairly decent ones. Uh, we had a couple early on here. We were in this range here, um, and of course there was a resistance across here. Hey, your range was real tight here, and we fell out the bottom. We reversed. I don't see any longs I like though, and then. Uh, this one made a higher high. This is close to being green, but because we closed back inside the range so far away from the EMA, I feel like that trade was worth it. It's also a true second entry after the breakout. It's two measure, it's two perfectly, almost perfect measured legs up. I like, I mean, I made it red, red, but it is close to being green because it did make a new high. A lot of times you're better off to wait on the lower high. So if you waited, you got a lower high right here, and it broke higher first and turned down, and that would have been a, I don't know that I'd have gone short right here, but when it came bound the engulfing bar, definitely take that short. I mean, that's a good lower high. The problem is if you wait till it closes, uh, it's a fairly big bar. It's 14 ticks. I think it works either way. Even if you went short down here at the lows, I think there's still enough exactly six ticks so it doesn't matter how you traded it it worked it was good for a scalp and then of course we bounce right there and we come back and confirm the trend line right here and you also get a second entry long the problem is you're going long into resistance and there's not much room there uh, if you look at the true high there's probably enough room to get out but that's that you're pressing if you're going long into this resistance here 
so I'm not crazy about that one. I did give it a green because it is a second entry long and it is a failed second entry short as well. So there's multiple reasons that if it breaks higher, you're probably going to get a scalp. The question is, can it break higher there and get above this little, all this, these previous highs? Um, I did mark it green, but I'm still not crazy about it. Uh, we come back, we get a close outside, move to a new high. Now we do get a triple test up here. Notice how it makes a lower high each time. It is congested, but we really close outside that little range. Um, we've already had our breaking new high. We're way away from the EMA. We should at least come back to the EMA. It's still a little risky though, because, uh, you've got a little support across there and it could break out and fail and turn back up. I marked it green. Uh, it's one of those that if you're going to take a risky one, this is probably the type you want to take. Uh, we, then we get a trend down. I don't see anything you can trade on the way down if you didn't enter here. Close outside, move to a new low, and then we're going the other way. Um, nothing, I mean, there's no high or low here. Uh, no decent reversal set up. Uh, we did try to go lower here. And this, uh, the problem here is this, you have to trade this probably on the engulfing bar. If you wait till this closes, it's moved a long way. Um, you do get a breakout pull back up here, but... Uh, there's not much room there and you see it doesn't go anywhere it takes a minute i just don't see anything here you can trade finally works back to the trend line here again nothing sets up really worth trading uh, you might call this a high or low but the signal bar is not very good but you finally get a failed second entry short uh, so that's kind of a continuation pattern i like that one um, we did get a possible close outside it's not real convincing uh, but you still should probably move up another leg equal to that one at a minimum. Uh, and this thing just kind of takes off, gives you an old new trend. Uh, we just keep, there's, we just keep chopping higher. You don't want to be going long up here, but there's, you don't want to be going shorts either. And then you kind of get a spike and channel down comes working back. You actually get a triple test here, but the signal bar is just not good enough. It does bounce. Um, and you got to be careful going short right here. Uh, that bar is no good. This is an inside bar. So see if you get a lower high, which comes right here. It actually breaks higher and fails and turns down. I like going on the engulfing bar. Uh, you might even go short right there. You could take that one either way, in my opinion. Uh, there's plenty of room back down here to the support. Notice we do find support there momentarily before you get a failed breakout to the upside and it turns down again. And you do have a little channel right here. So that's a failed break out of that channel uh, right at the highs. I like going short there. You'll probably get another leg down like this one at a minimum, but this thing kind of takes off. Um, you bounce off the lows, you get a little channel working up, you get a close outside, move to a new high, and it confirms that trend line on the spiking channel. This actually breaks higher first, it turns down. Again, I like going short on the engulfing bar. Um, be probably okay even going short here there's a little support there but that's mostly just congestion uh it'll probably push on through because we're in a downtrend and this is off a key entry point so i like that one i like it better on the engulfing bar though uh, we don't really get a close outside we just reverse i think what we got was an overshoot right here i think it was more like this and you get an overshoot, which leads to, uh, you never really get a break. Then you make a new low and then it just reverses. And uh, no no reason to go long down here. And it's just chopping along. No setup here. It takes off. Again, you're just chopping around. This one is tempting. But we only went to this high once. And the rest of the time it was below that. And you see it took a little while to get up there. So I'm not crazy. Plus it's an inside bar. So you really can't enter on that one. I mean, you could, if it was just one tick, maybe. But I'm not crazy about entering on an inside bar like that. Especially when um, you've been struggling to go higher there. So um, it just keeps chopping sideways. You don't really, I don't see any shorts up here. And I don't see any longs. Finally, it breaks out, 
gives you a first entry, pulls back, and you did kind of test that three different times there. Um, so when it turns down there, it's a second entry short, and um, it's also, notice the new eye, first entry, second entry, a failed second entry long. So I like going short there. You got enough tests. That you really want to see three good tests, a triple test. This is pushing it, but with all the other stuff going on, I think that's okay. I still marked it green for that reason, but I somewhat like that. Now you got to close outside, two legs down, and you get a second entry long right here. Uh, notice you work down, you get a first entry, and then it turns back down. So when it breaks above that, it's a second entry long. Um, if you've got room back to the EMA, I would say take that trade. The other thing is I think you've moved a perfect measured move here. And you can see that you actually went a little bit lower and bounce. So it's probably going to shoot back up and test this again at a minimum. Definitely the EMA. And it just keeps going. Finally get a close outside move to a new high. But that takes you into 230. And I don't see anything else here that I really would be willing to enter on the way up and I definitely don't want to take a short there. So there it is. Not many trades today, kind of a quiet day that still pushed higher. So, um, I think we're finding resistance around this 4,400. We'll see if we can get through there, if it's going to turn down or what. So but there it is for today. Um, it's kind of hard to say what's going to happen tomorrow. Probably another similar type day. We might push a little higher. We might push a little lower. We might just go sideways. But we've had a really big move up. We're starting to get into overbought territory. We're not quite there. We're real close. Uh, but we do have a, we have blown right through a couple of uh, these century marks. We we started around 4,200. So we've had about a 200 point rally in the last week or so, which is pretty strong. So just. Um, We'll wait and see what tomorrow brings, but that's that's really it for today. So nothing spectacular to talk about here. Um, I showed you the two measured legs here, and then of course you look for your measured leg, which turns out just it's just a bigger range, and what was once the highs turns into the midline. So there it is. I'm not going to beat around the bush, drag this out today. I'm going to wrap it up. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. And we'll see you next time.